ओके द रिकॉर्डिंग हैज स्टार्टेड नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट व्हाट आर एक्चुअली द टॉपिक्स दैट विल बी डेल्ट विथ इन दिस पार्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट uh guys who have taken this particular subject one or two can you please uh, tell me that uh, what are actually your thoughts about the particular content of this particular subject mane ei subject er content ki hote pare bhebe tomader mone hoyeche what do you think about the content of this subject one or two so structural interaction with fluid at uh, high velocity fluid at high velocity okay uh sir so uh, fluid, fluid kinematics details of uh, fluid kinematics okay uh sir so the analysis of lift and drag okay okay fine now i am uh, asking a typically simple question to you is there anybody who is actually uh, thinking that this particular subject of aerodynamics always deal with aeroplanes is there anybody sir mostly that picture oh, no, no, comes no. to mind okay mostly that picture comes to mind fine actually uh, till date i have come across many guys who is actually thinking that the subject of aerodynamics mainly deals aeroplanes if somebody actually thinks this particular thing i may say he is he or she is right or wrong at the same time in one sense he or she is right cause the subject actually emerged from the innovation of aeroplane and subsequently developed afterwards it is not that the aerodynamics or the behavior of air was not studied before the innovation of airplane by the rights brother but still after this particular thing is developed the subject of aerodynamics actually grew in stature joto din aeroplane avishkar hoyni subject ta chilo na ta noy aeroplane avishkar er pore subject ta dhire dhire develop koreche there can be some guys who is having some problem with uh, english uh, you you may directly tell me i will repeat in bengali no problem <coughs> okay uh actually the subject of aerodynamics deals with interaction of air with something moving through it or interaction of air with something on which air is moving should i repeat i think i should something which is moving through air air is having some dealing on the same jeta air er moddhe diye move korche air er tar opor kichu effect ache number 2 air is moving on something air is flowing on something and it is having some effect on the same air nije karor opor diye boiche tar opore o air er kichu effect ache both are actually under the purview of aerodynamics please tell me if this is clear to you or not
फ्लुईड <laughs> and so there will be so many properties those will coincide with other fluids also the basic fluid mechanics and compressible fluid mechanics concepts are the same but for aerodynamics purpose we used to take air as our basic fluid amra aerodynamics er je kono alochonate air kei amar basic fluid hisebe grohon koru is it clear now yes sir yes sir the concept can be used for other fluids also but for aerodynamics purpose everything will be taken as air now again uh, guys you please tell me one thing is that uh, i have uh, given you two such things okay air flowing on something or something moving through air if i actually tell you guys to clap this to and give me a single statement on which aerodynamics deals relative What motion of uh, relative motion of air and object exactly so absolutely deep is correct that we may say that if an object is having some relative motion with respect to air then the effect of air on that particular object is under the purview of aerodynamics is it okay is it okay guys yes sir yes sir yes sir okay as i have told you that the subject of aerodynamics all started from mainly started from the innovation of airplanes so in this particular subject there will be so many influences of the airplanes though i have told you very clearly that anything having relative motion with air are obviously under the purview of aerodynamics still there are some basic things which will be missing i am i am elaborating suppose some guys are actually walking just walking not running Through the air, obviously somebody is walking. He or she will walk through air. के वो हाथ ले तो हवार मोत्त दी हाथ भी, right? And also the air flow is not very. Uh, I mean, it's uh, not flowing like a storm or anything. Will the movement of that particular person? Come under the purview of aerodynamics. Mune hai. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. No sir. No, not really. Actually, what happens that see, we are engineers. Okay. We are engineers, and the subject is an engineering subject. So. we will actually be concerned on the effects which are really significant 
if the relative velocity of the object with respect to air is not very high the effect of air or effect of air resistance whatever you may say see there the influence of air won't be very high jodi kono object air er moddhe diye khub slowly move kore air cannot influence its motion very significantly got my point yes sir and that is when we actually neglect the effect of aerodynamics in those cases citing you an example have you seen a toto being developed in a pure aerodynamic design no sir no oh, really not really uh, not many guys are concerned in the movement of a toto or an auto rickshaw uh, there can be a some uh, shape uh, will be given okay fine but still nobody is actually concerned about the effect of air on this particular vehicle movement right so as long as this particular setup is having a very low velocity with air with respect to air i mean aerodynamics can be neglected got my point so there should be some minimum relative velocity of air with respect to that particular object to actually come under the purview of aerodynamics you guys are concerned na that aerodynamically favorable vehicles are designed those are really not aeroplanes but those are actually surface vehicles yes or no yes sir all these formula 1 cars leaf formula 1 cars the mercedes benz cars even a high rated suvs those are actually having aerodynamic design right rail engines are obviously having aerodynamic designs bullet trains are obviously having aerodynamic designs can you guys cite something which is not a vehicle but still moving through air and requires the aerodynamics in purview olympics was actually over only yesterday so i think the answer can be here javelin sir javelin oh. javelin javelin ah, javelin okay fine i i i treat it as a like a vehicle it is it is also moving but something else yeah javelin is a correct answer said the uh, long, long arcs of the stadium uh, okay that is a bit uh, different but sir, the human off. beings human beings running when they start off they start off low because uh, uh, the cycling when, helmets cycling yeah yes the cycling helmets are having aerodynamic design absolutely and also a person when he actually he or she actually starts running have you seen the orientation of the body with respect to air have you seen yes sir how is it one sir, arm above uh, jokhon hocche blocks theke hocche run kore ota sir perpendicular to the blocks theke mathar samne ebong and everybody just think in this particular way it a khub important first class so these particular things are going to be interesting you see whenever we are actually standing okay what is the total width of our body our two hands plus our body width yes or no 
দুটো হাত দুদিকে মাঝখানে বডি এই তো পুরো উইথ উইথ দিস উইথ ইফ উই স্টার্ট রানিং থ্রু দা এয়ার এয়ার উইল হ্যাভ হায়ার রেজিস্ট্যান্স অন আস বাট এট টাইম অফ রান এট দা স্টার্টিং one of our hands goes in front one of our hands goes at the back right ki tai to bhul nahi to yes sir and the body is bent in a shape to have the minimum width possible with respect to ar at the time of start can i say this particular thing keu kono dekechi ekjon runner starting er shomoy kibhabe danay yes sir so what is this particular runner he or she is actually ensuring knowing or unknowingly is that obviously not unknowingly right now with all the biomechanics persons are they are they know this particular thing very well that you need to cartel the air resistance or the air drag as far as possible and for that particular thing you need to make your body as far as streamlined as possible anyway so starting from human beings to airplanes aerodynamics will have its play up to this i think everybody is convinced right ki ei tuku dhorte pari to je ei tuku obdi shobai yes sir yes sir now let us actually show you this particular preliminary aerodynamics let me start my presentation anybody having any problem in viewing this presentation they can actually tell me but i don't think there will be any problem is my screen visible to everybody yes sir yes sir okay see as i have already told you ki aeroplane will actually put a lot in our analysis cause from that actually all of these actually started so we take an aerofoil anybody is here who is not knowing what is an aerofoil keu ki emon ache je jane na aerofoil ki jinish jane na sir okay ami ota age dekhin concentrate here it's very easy you if you actually cut the wing of an airplane okay ke boleche jane na ek to reply koruk ha ami ha thik ache if you cut the cross section of a wing of an airplane the particular cross section you get is called an aerofoil বোঝা গেছে 
Can you see the black portion? Hmm. Yes, sir. Look like yes. this. That is a shape. Okay. That is a shape. And that shape is called aerofoil. Nothing else. Okay. So, if this is clear, I can proceed to that particular thing. Yes, sir. You are seeing an aerofoil. Characteristics of aerofoil we will come later. You need not worry. But for now, this is an aerofoil and for any aerodynamic study, we take this particular aerofoil as our standard aerodynamic object. So what is this a standard aerodynamic object? Now generally, for our all preliminary analysis, we actually analyze the effect of AR on this particular aerofoil-like object. I need some object. Now, I'm going to object to lag be. I'm going to add an effect of big bo in order to know the aerodynamics behind it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we take this particular aerofile as our basic aerodynamic object. I think there is no problem in it. Air is flowing on it, right? What's with it? So AR will have some effect on this particular aerofoil. And you be sure by one thing is that there are only two ways, only two ways AR can actually put any effect on any object having any relative velocity with AR. One is pressure, our very well-known pressure and the second is the shear stress and the shear stress come due to which property of air viscosity 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 right so these are the two ways air can actually communicate with the solid object moving through it With this particular pressure and shear stress over the total surface of the aerofoil, the pressure and shear stress distribution will be different, yes or no? Over the upper surface, over the lower surface, there will be some sort of pressure and shear stress distribution, right? Yes, sir. And the pressure and shear stress distribution will give you a net resultant aerodynamic force R and a net resultant aerodynamic moment M. Did you see Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And what is this V infinity? Let me make it clear to you. See, if an air plane is moving through air, again, air is having some relative velocity with this particular air plane, right? Who is actually there to analyze all these things in an air plane? Suppose, I mean, you are an aeroplane, ke dhori, aeroplane ke aache, je lo analyze kotte parve. The pilot, right? The pilot is the person who requires to find out all these particular effects in order to control the airplane, right? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that is why this particular V infinity concept is here. What is this? Actually, when airplane moves, we actually take it granted 
that air doesn't move at all cause an airplane generally moves in which layer of the particular aerosphere kon layer e chole airplane choto belay geography te porechilo stratosphere sir because stratosphere stratosphere exactly generally an airplane moves through stratosphere where air is more or less calm and quiet there is no violent movement of air in that particular zone right so if an airplane is moving in front at a velocity of suppose at a velocity of 400 km per hour for the pilot what will be the relative velocity of air उल्टर and that particular velocity of air we call the free stream velocity and we call this the v infinity why a free stream velocity let me actually tell you this particular thing suppose this air foil is now a representation of my aeroplane any aerodynamic object i will represent by this particular aero foil right that i have made, made, made you clear so this is your aeroplane this is your train this is your formula 1 car everything is this from now okay bojha gaya ji kotha ta bojha gaya ji tu yes sir okay ha so a ki keu kichu bolchile उटलैन Outline ta mane anyway we are actually studying every effect on this particular aerofoil at the onset. Then we will come to specific cases. Okay. Nice. On any aerodynamic object, there will be some resultant force. There will be some resultant moment, and there will be some v infinity. That is true, na? Yes, sir. See the T. Yes. that is the case nothing else now why this is called a free stream velocity that i need to ensure and that i mean to make clear see on this particular object whatever object it can be there will be some boundary layers formed isn't it cos viscosity is there so some boundary layer will be formed yes or no yes sir yes sir so can i say that the velocity adjacent to the body is v infinity can i at all say that will be somewhere less than v yes sir sahi to yes sir so we actually say that if an airplane is moving or any aerodynamic object is moving to the vast air domain let us take the v infinity a bit beyond this particular object this object is moving at this side so v infinity from the opposite side that is clear to everybody ota ni amar kono matha matha nei but what i am saying is that whenever is v infinity is actually negotiating the body very near to the body the v infinity can be changed a bit i know it 
যদি বডির খুব কাছাকাছি চলে আসে ভি ইনফিনিটি কি আর ভি ইনফিনিটি থাকবে নাকি ওটা একটু কমে কমে যাবে ইনফিনিটি আশা করি এটা খুব একটা সমস্যার কিছু নেই সহজ কথা হাউ এন এয়ারপ্লেন অ্যাকচুয়ালি মুভস ফরওয়ার্ড দেয়ার ইজ অলওয়েজ অ্যান অ্যাঙ্গেল বিটুইন দিস পার্টিকুলার অবজেক্ট and the relative velocity tar mane ki this particular object is not moving in this way eta kintu ei nose ta jedike ache shedike jacche na it is not moving in this particular dotted line it is moving horizontally with the nose up position dekho ei kotha ta bojha gelo এটা না বুঝলে খুব চাপ আছে আপরাইট পজিশন তাই তো নোজ আপ পজিশন রাইট একজন দুজন একটু কমিউনিকেট করোজ আপ পজিশন এটা তো এই ডটেড লাইন ধরেও যেতে পারতো it could have moved forward in this dotted line tai noy ki hoto patto but then v infinity direction kon dike hoto er dotted line along alpha along the dotted line hoto along alpha hoto ha but eta dekha jacche je the v infinity is horizontal so i may say na je this one may be in a nose up position but this is actually moving horizontal সামনে নাকটা একটু উঁচু করে সোজা সামনে দিকে চলেছে কারোর কাছে কোনো অপরিষ্কার নেই তো সি ইস কল দা কড লেন্থ দ্যাট ইস দা লাইন জয়নিং দা টিপ এন্ড দা এন্ড অফ দিস পার্টিকুলার এরোফয়েল that is called the chord and c is the corresponding chord length and the angle between the chord and its velocity its velocity means the relative velocity v infinity both are in the same line obviously the angle between them is called the angle of attack alpha free stream velocity and the chord of this particular aerodynamic object are actually at an angle alpha and that angle is called the angle of attack bojha gache yes sir yes sir yes sir বলবো গল্পগুলো বলবো চিন্তা নেই প্রথম যখন এরোপ্লেন উড়েছিল কিভাবে উড়েছিল সে গল্প বলবো চিন্তা নেই তাহলে বুঝবো কোশ্চেনটা রাখ অ্যাটাক কেন 
but it is named as angle of attack okay for now mere uh, nahi hua okay and as i have told you that there will be a resultant aerodynamic force due to the pressure and shear stress distribution that resultant aerodynamic force can actually be divided in two perpendicular directions now which two perpendicular directions can we actually choose we can choose along the chord length and perpendicular to the chord length that is one way of doing it and we say along the chord length is axial force and perpendicular to the chord length is normal force i think it's uh, not an issue right ami kottei bari r ke dutodi ke resolution isn't it डायरेक्शन and i think up to this it is clear that the direction of free stream velocity and the direction of velocity of this object are just equal and opposite so we have two directions one is the chord length one is the velocity so if we choose the direction of free stream velocity i can have a resolution of resultant like this right yes sir yes sir and in this case the one parallel to the free stream velocity is called drag and the one perpendicular to the free stream velocity is called lift obviously any particular way i choose i can have either lift and drag or normal and axial force and obviously this lift and drag and normal and axial force can be related by these cos alpha sin alpha components in this way i don't think these two relations are required to be explained relation gulo ke explain korar dorkar nei nischoy ota component nilei paoa jabe no sir sir ekta question nischoy স্যার এই যে নরমাল আর অ্যাকচুয়াল আর ড্র্যাগন লিফটের মধ্যে কোনটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি মানে স্যার ফ্লুইড ফোর্স জন্য ফ্লুইড ফোর্স জন্য জেনারেট হয়েছে দেখো বাবা ফ্লুইড ফ্লোর জন্য জেনারেট হয়েছে রেজাল্ট্যান্ট আর হ্যাঁ স্যার কিন্তু ওটা তো মানে ফ্লুইড ফোর্স জন্য মানে দুটোই তো ফোর্স আছে একটা এই স্যার ওই বার্নুলি প্রিন্সিপালের জন্য আর একটা শিয়ার শিয়ারের জন্য না না ওই ওই সব মিলিয়ে ওই ওইটা এইটা আগে ঠিক করে বুঝতে হবে একটা হচ্ছে প্রেসার একটা শিয়ার স্ট্রেস ওকে डायरेक्शन the force which was actually created by the effect of ar that is the resultant r bujha gachi yes so what is now our motto for this particular case we need to find out what is the value of r cos this r is actually generated due to the pressure and shear stress distribution tai to je chobi ta prothom de diyechilam there is pressure and shear stress on every point on this particular surface ha sir upper surface as well as lower surface thik ache so now our motto is to find out 
the resultant are in terms of this pressure and shear stress okay pora jay to so let us try out this particular thing dekhai jak ki hoy ki na hoy you guys are seeing this particular coordinate s right yes sir yes sir that is more like our theta coordinate in case of our polar coordinate ara round e theta coordinate tangential e jeto to yes sir here it is not a circle it is having a curvature but along the curvature i take this particular coordinate s karo samasya ache ta ota to profile to profile change hobe ha profile to profile change hobe exactly s will be changed if the profile is changed s will be changed absolutely ta tale lab ki कन्सिडारेक्ट त this aerofoil will obviously have some span right yes sir for our two dimensional analysis we take the span as unit one okay got it yes sir there will be small small things but for aerodynamics those small omissions cannot be made tai jonno amay prottekta jinish bolte hobe after a coordinate s we take a very small strip ds mr calculus will come to help us and on this strip what is the total area of this strip ds into 1 তাই হবে তো হ্যাঁ ds into ds into 1 না এটা l l না মান স্যার না এটা 1 1 1 একদম 1 it is not l it is 1 ও বাবা হ্যাঁ ওটাকে আবার কি l ভাবিস না that is 1 your numeric 1 okay ঠিক আছে cos for 2d analysis i need the span to be unity okay I want you to know. And pressure and shear stress are on this particular thing. Why V infinity is in this tilted position? You say that? Sir, exactly. Because we have made this particular thing horizontal, so V infinity is tilted further down. ঠিক আছে উই हैव जस्ट শোন দিস পার্টিকুলার থিং উইথ দা কোয়াড লেন্থ বিং হরিজন্টাল ঠিক আছে আমরা জাস্ট ঘুরিয়ে দেখিয়েছি সমস্যা আছে কারোর না স্যার সো দিস ইজ आवर প্রাইমারি থিং যেখানে আমি একটা when when i am i am actually showing my aerodynamic object with an unit span and this unit span aerodynamic object is having a pressure and shear stress on a strip of length or curvature length ds after a coordinate of s obviously that you guys have specified that this s will be some function of x and y and with curvature curvature jodi change hoy s will change right ei kotha bolecho to sobai yes sir yes sir okay 
so i am just showing the front view of this front view ke jodi dekhai and if i discriminate between upper and lower surface the upper surface su after su there will be a dsu tai hobe to डिडारेसिडार माइ प्रेसार एंड शेयर स्ट्रेस on this particular dsl also i consider my pressure and shear stress they won't be equal equal hobe na upper and lower surface e alada hotei pare tai noy ki yes sir yes sir okay ebar ami jodi boli now if i say that okay fine i consider this particular pu and this tau u why in bracket there is written this pu su kind of thing cause pu or the pressure in upper surface is actually a function of the curvature of the upper surface if i take a point instead of ekhan theke na ni jodi ekhane nitam if i take a point here the pressure would have been different tai to yes sir so pu and tau u pl and tau l All are actually functions of the curvature. Okay, asa kuri yeta ya potti nahi. No sir. Yeah. Okay. No sir. Do to jini jagi bola dichi. Two things I am making clear. This particular thing is taken directly from the Anderson book. The Anderson book I will share with you. No problem. I have the PDF with me. But two things. Ekta agi bollam that after ACU there should be a DSU which should be shown. Jada dakhana uchi chilo, dakhana hoy. Also, these two thetas. Ekhana uje theta da dekhiye chhe, ekhana usi theta dekhiye chhe. But those should have been considered as theta U and theta L. These two are confusing. Ami ki bojhe the mere chhe last year ko thata. कैन <laughs> What is my normal direction? That is my y direction, right? Perpendicular to the chord is y, right? Yes, sir. And along the chord is x. So, what is the net force on the small point A? PU multiplied by DSU that is the total pressure force. Tai to? Yes sir. Yes sir. Pressure into area. What is the area? Area is DSU into one. And what is the net shear force? Tau U into DSU. Abo thi nahi? No sir. So the negative. Hoi hoi gal. डायरेक्शन ऑफ पी यू डी एस यू इट इज डाउन वार्ड ना सो इफ आई एक्चुअली हैव अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस टू फोर्सेस इन द वाई डायरेक्शन कॉम्पोनेंट की आसबे बाबा निजे बोलो It is downward, so it will be minus P U T S U cos theta. Do you have it? Yes, sir. Don't shoot. Our cut is gone. Now we have to tell the whole thing. We have to tell the whole thing. Yes, it is very easy. We have to tell the whole thing. 
so if pu dsu is my total force the downward component is pu dsu cos theta theta ito and that is in the y direction so in the normal direction apo tinai to no sir negative keno eshe ke jiggesh korchilo ebar bujhte pareche ha ha man niche niche direction ho niche theke tai negative eta to khub sohoj kotha baba and another negative component is tau u dsu sin theta that will also be downward yes or no ki mona hai yes so what is the total component towards the normal direction for the upper surface the first line it is written yes or no the total normal force for the upper surface at point a that is this karo apatti ache prothom equation ta niye bare anybody have no, any sir. problem no sir no sir total normal force summation total axial force koto hobe tau u dsu cos theta that is in the positive s direction pu dsu sin theta that is also in the negative x direction so total axial force in the upper surface will be this eta the karor apatti ache bina boli ha sir accordingly baki dutao hobe okay accordingly baki dutao hobe okay ami ar odutor modhe jacchi na hopefully those are clear Sure, sir. Okay. Now, how to get the total normal force and total axial force, man? You got a power. I need to integrate it, right? Over the total upper surface and over the total lower surface, I need to integrate these four things. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Along the curvature. Along the curvature, if I actually take the total integration, I will get the total normal force and total axial force in this way. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Did you know? You see, there are total four components of normal force. Total four. Ekta duoto tinte chart. Those four are actually here. From leading edge to trailing edge, I need to integrate it to get the total normal force. And for the axial force, axial force is also needed. Is it okay for you? Sure, sir. Okay. Now coming to the main case. Now you guys will ask me. अरे बोले दिले ही होलो कोड बो की कोड. But you are saying I hey, integration. You you need to do the integration. How am I going to do the integration? I am having no data. I do not know what is the relation between PU and DSU. How can I get with this integration process? I integration ta koro ki kore mosai. Bola dilay holo. Ite to question ashbe to. This question will come right. Kya question ta ashbe to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Obviously. Obviously. Now relation jai na. Yeah, there is. I I do not know the relation between P U tau U D S U anything. How can I go go for the integration? Now this is where my aerodynamics actually starts. Can I buy? Because up to this, any mathematician can come, right? Now, these are only vector analysis. I cannot put into any aerodynamics as such, right? Yes. now there are two ways there are two ways of finding this particular things these are only equations but mainly you need to know the relation between the pressure and shear stress with respect to the curvatures and those things are not readily available
we need to find out these particular distributions in two ways do bhabe amra ei kaj gulo kore thaki one is experimental that is i take this particular aerofoil surface to one wind tunnel wind tunnel mane what is a wind tunnel a wind tunnel is actually having a tunnel through which air can be blown at required velocity ami je kono velocity te ekta air flow toiri korte pari ei holo wind tunnel thik ache er beshi kichu noy ki এরকম একটা উইন্ড টানেল এর ভেতরে আমি যদি ঢুকিয়ে দিই ইফ আই অ্যাকচুয়ালি প্লেস অ্যান্ড অবজেক্ট লাইক দিস ইনসাইড অ্যান্ড উইন্ড টানেল এন্ড আই মেজার দ্য প্রেশার অ্যান্ড শেয়ার স্টেজ ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন উইথ প্রোভস অ্যান্ড অল দিস থিংস অ্যান্ড এক্সপেরিমেন্টালি গেট দিস পার্টিকুলার রিলেশনশিপ ইট ইজ আন্ডার দ্য পারভিউ অফ এক্সপেরিমেন্টাল এরোডাইনামিক্স বোঝা গেল কথাটা बार मापतेमेंटिंग डान चालानोटी তার মধ্যে এটাকে রাখা হয় এটা অবজেক্ট থেকে রাখা হলো একে डिफरेंट পয়েন্টে প্রেসার এন্ড শিয়ার স্ট্রেস আমরা বার করলাম মানে পড়াটা অসম্ভব বলে মনে হচ্ছে না স্যার ওরা যেতে পারে ইয়ে সন না স্যার স্যার হোয়াট কাইন্ড অফ প্রুফ ইজ ইউজড টু ফাইন্ড দা নরমাল এক্সেল ফোর্স আজ বাস বো টেনশন হচ্ছে কেন चिंतान मान बसिव जंत्री दिए सब बार करते <laughs> so experimental aerodynamics to make all these things experimentally done is a bit expensive not a bit actually very much expensive okay 
and so on a second option people take the opportunity of cfd tool softwares like fluent and all in order to predict the pressure and shear stress distribution on the surface cfd means computational fluid dynamics computationally we predict with the properties of air that what are the corresponding pressure and shear stress distribution on this particular shape of object if such an air flow is actually blown on this that means we are not using our expensive experimental setups but we are using a software platform to simulate the particular setup and to get an estimation of it ei kotha ta mathay rakho there is always an estimation in the software a software cannot provide you the exact value right yes sir mm. so these are the two ways er baire kono rasta nei either we need to go for experimental setup those are very expensive and secondly we can go for software simulation ta tar jonno oi software ta kinte hobe tar pore bishesh kono mane tar pore shudhu nijer kaj mane khub expense kichu nei okay so got these two ways i think yes sir এই দুটো ওয়েস এর মধ্যে তফাৎটা আমি একটু তাহলে বলি হু আর হিয়ার অ্যাকচুয়ালি তার মধ্যে কতজন ফর্মুলা ওয়ান দেখেছে বা দেখে মোটামুটি রেগুলার দেখেছে কয়েকবার দেখেছে বা রেগুলার দেখে ঠিক আছে এনিওয়ে এইটুকু তো সবাই জানে all the formula 1 cars from the outside uh, looks more or less similar right mm, yes sir still some cars like mercedes or ferrari comes first or second and some cars like morusia cosworth or something those actually comes at the back end more or less always सब समय देखा जाए साम कार्स आर एक्चुअली हैविंग साम बेटर परफॉर्मेंस एंड साम कार्स आर नॉट हैविंग सच अ बेटर परफॉर्मेंस देखा जाए ये सोन मोटा मोटी शीर्ष तो ये सर ओब्वियसली दे आर आर फोर आर फाइव फ्रंट रनर्स एंड टू और थ्री बैक रनर्स ये तो मोटा मोटी शीर्ष ओके दे आर कैन बी साम exceptions ek din pechone ta jite gelo but those are not those are only exceptions right more or less amra etai dekhi je these these four or five are front runners and those three or four are back runners etai dekha jay eta motamoti jara dekheche ba jara dekheni taro eta expect korte pare right yes sir okay now i am saying what are actually done over there those front runners like ferrari mercedes mclaren they are having their own wind tunnel they can check the pressure and shear stress distribution on each and every component of the car experimental কথাটা বোঝা গেল কথাটা বোঝা গেল ওই কারের প্রত্যেকটা কম্পোনেন্ট এর মধ্যে ওই আর এর এফেক্ট রয়েছে না বাট দে ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি গেট দোজ এফেক্ট এক্সপেরিমেন্টালি অ্যান্ড দে আর গেটিং পারফেক্ট রেজাল্ট অ্যান্ড দে আর পারফেক্টলি প্রেডিক্টিং হাউ টু গেট দিস অ্যাঙ্গেল অর দিস পার্টিকুলার শেপ ডান so that 
the air resistance is minimal emon ki design korle amar air er resistance sob theke kom hobe seta tara experimental data theke bar kore and the back runners are either having no wind tunnel at all tader wind tunnel nei they are only relying on computational data that is the cfd data so their cars look more or less similar but there are design approximations always bujha gelo kotha ta yes sir yes sir there are some mid runners right like reno এরা বেশিরভাগ ক্ষেত্রেই ওই ছয় সাথে শেষ করে না পারে ফার্স্ট সেকেন্ড হতে না একবারে লাস্ট হয় ওকে হোয়াট দে ডু তাদের তাহলে কি উইন্ড টানেল আছে নাকি নেই স্যার ভালো উইন্ড টানেল নেই এক্স্যাক্টলি এক্স্যাক্টলি দিস ইজ দা आंसर এক্স্যাক্টলি দিস ইজ দা आंसर তাদের উইন্ড টানেল আছে বাট অ্যাডিকুয়েট स्मलिटल and accordingly design the car so their design is better than totally computational one but worse than those who are actually having a huge wind tunnel to test every component of their actual car kotha ta bojha gelo yes or no yes sir yes sir you guys predict which force is to be minimized ei je dutto force er kotha royeche n dash and a dash for formula 1 car which one is to be minimized the shear axial 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 the axial force is to be minimized and actually it is the motto of the formula 1 car manufacturers to minimize the for this particular set of axial force and at a formula 1 car that won't have any angle of attack kind of thing like right it's very difficult so the axial force and the drag force these are almost equal for a formula 1 car cause the alpha is very small right क्लियर Yes, another thing we need to take is the moment about the leading edge just like the force i can take the upper surface moment for these two forces what is the distance of a from this particular point it is x and it is y abo tinei to मोमेंट 
বই হয়তো বলতে চেয়েছে বাইরে তো কোন আমি আলাদা করে বলছি না giving you these sort of forces as well as amra bhabte pari the pressure and shear stress distribution is giving me a moment like this about the leading edge eta to bolte pari ha sir bolte pari yes and sometimes this moment is very much required and that is why i need to give the expression for the moment as well okay sir okay sir kemon seta to bolchi je dm dash u কনভেনশন some moment ai chole jas keno some moment which will cause a nose up motion that is positive dekho nije it is clockwise right but it will cause a nose up condition yes or no erokom ekta moment bolle yes sir amar ero phal ta nose up hobe to So a yes. nose up moment is positive and the nose down moment is negative. This is aerodynamic convention. Forget about clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay. What are you saying? Yes, sir. This convention is actually kept for every aerodynamic problem. and accordingly this is done this is really not very important cause ultimately you need to know again the distribution of all these things and for that you need the corresponding experiments and or the cfd right but it is correct na that the pressure and shear stress distribution either can give you aerodynamic forces and these two can give you aerodynamic moments as well I think up to this it is clear enough. Ki apotti nai to. No sir. I think uh, we can end here for today. কতখানি পড়েছি কতখানি বুঝেছি লাস্টের ওই তিনটে কথা মাথায় রাখবে বা ফ্রন্ট রানার্স আর হ্যাভিং লাইফ সাইজ উইন্ড টানেল একবারে গোদা ওই গাড়িটাকে ধরে ভরে দেওয়া যাবে দা মিড রানার্স আর নট হ্যাভিং লাইফ সাইজ উইন্ড টানেল বাট হ্যাভিং স্মল উইন্ড টানেল যার মধ্যে ছোট মডেল ভরে ভরে দেবে দা ব্যাক রানার্স আর হ্যাভিং নো উইন্ড টানেল অ্যাট অল দে উইল ইউজ দা কম্পিউটেশনাল ডেটা 
এই তিনটে কথা মনে রেখে পরের দিনের ক্লাস আমরা শুরু করব ওকে যখন চলে ইট ইজ মেনি টাইমস রিকোয়ার টু ডু দিস পার্টিকুলার নোস আপ অ্যান্ড নোস ডাউন থিংস ওকে তখন পাইলটকে নিজের মতো করে আমার এরোপ্লেনের ডিফারেন্ট অবজেক্টকে কন্ট্রোল করতে হয় সো দ্যাট হি গেটস দিস পার্টিকুলার নোজ আপ অন নোজ ডাউন মোমেন্ট দ্যাট ইজ ওয়াই দিস শর্ট অফ মোমেন্ট আর ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফ্লাইট ডাইনামিক্স অংশে আসলে এটা বুঝতে পারি বইটা পাঠিয়ে দিচ্ছি টেনশন দিচ্ছ কেন বিদেশি আরে বিদেশি তো বটেই কিন্তু বইটা খুব ভালো এবং খুব সহজ কোন চিন্তা নেই যে হলো বই ফান্ডামেন্টালসন খুব সহজ ভাষায় লেখা আছে এতটাই সহজ ভাষায় লেখা আছে তোমরা কল্পনাও করতে পারছ না ওই বিদেশি হয়ে বইটা পাঠিয়ে দিচ্ছি টেনশন নেই এনি আদার কোয়ারি যে জাইরোস্কোপিক মোশান থেকে শুরু করে বাকিগুলো শিখেছিলি সেটা যে এক্সাক্টলি সবসময় লাগবে তা নয় বাট ফ্লাইট ডাইনামিক্স এ গেলে কিছুটা কাজে লাগবে দেখতে পাবি খুব একটা শক্ত কিছু বা কঠিন কিছু নয় সেগুলোস্ফিয়ার দিয়ে ফ্লাই করে উঠে আবার নামবি কখনো যদি কলকাতা থেকে আগরতলা যাস কলকাতা থেকে মিজোরাম যাস গুয়াহাটি যাস এরোপ্লেন দেখবি করে নাচছে কেন কেন ওখানে 
এয়ার মুভমেন্ট আছে ট্রপোস্ফিয়ারে ভালো রকম বুঝতে পারছিস यस सर यस বাট স্ট্র্যাটোস্ফিয়ারে স্ট্র্যাটোস্ফিয়ারে এয়ার মোটামুটি স্টেবল একটা এয়ার মুভমেন্ট স্ট্র্যাটোস্ফিয়ারে পাওয়া যায় না তাই প্রেফারেবল এ স্ট্র্যাটোস্ফিয়ার দিয়েই চলা উচিত কিন্তু এই যে তুই বললি কতটা তো সত্যি আরে আমি অত উঁচুতে উঠব আমার নাম বো হয় না Thank you.